Hey, I'm Roland and I'm right here at Computex 2017 and we're taking a look again at the Intel Compute Card concept. The Intel Compute Cards are launching in August. They will be available from around 140 US dollars for models with Intel Apollo Lake SOCs and $400 plus for versions that are running Core M based SOCs. Um, this right here is an Apollo Lake model and I've actually managed to get a ECS to open this up for me so we can have a closer look. So you basically get this PCB that gets shoved into this metal cartridge which is just really a basic housing and that com contains everything that you want in your computer. So you have the flash memory sitting right there. Those are 64 gigs of EMMC storage and uh, that's your battery to keep the system alive, I guess, and keep a bunch of uh, non-volatile uh, stuff, a part of the volatile storage uh, still working and to keep it losing from, uh, from losing your data. But if you turn it over, you can see the actual SOC right here. So this one is an Apollo Lake uh, model that should have, I think that's a Celeron N3450 that is in here. And if you fold it back over, or if you look at the, uh, the base right here, you can see where the SOC should be touching the metal housing to create some kind of a basic heat sink uh, to have this thing at least uh, cool the whole shebang at, at least somehow a tiny bit, because these are getting kind of hot. I'll show you that in a second. Um, what you end up with is basically this tiny business card-like computer that gets stuffed into this, into this housing and it will just slide in. And let me just try and make it work in this case. You always got to hit the right spot. And I don't know if I can actually manage this, but it seems to work out right now. So if you look closely, you'll see that the SOC is touching the casing in this case. And once you get it slid in, it will just fit perfectly. Um, it contains everything that you need in a PC. Basically, you get the RAM, you get the storage, you also get Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi module. And at the bottom right here, those are actually, the one on the right is a USB Type-C connector that is not even fully utilized yet. They're gonna use it a bit later on. And right next to that is a proprietary port that has a bunch of open lanes that are just open for configuration. There's TPN into, TPM integrated, so you have a security solution on board. There's going to be some kind of authentication that will make sure that the manufacturers of these kinds of cards will have the option to lock them to certain uh, devices. So if you buy a card from Samsung or you buy an Intel card that is in a Samsung device, it will only work in a Samsung device or in another Samsung device. But this will also be open, so you will also be able to get computers in a form factor that is like a desktop, that is like a mini PC. There's a version right here that is running as an all-in-one that you can see in the background. There's gonna be models that are just not desktops. There will be all kinds of different form factors and that is the idea behind this whole concept. So in this case, if you just slide it back in, there should be a cover down here usually and that will be your full PC which you can carry around. For example, in education, you will be able to plug this in into laptop housings, take it home, plug it into your desktop housing and use it there to do homework, for example. While you have been using this as a, uh, as a laptop in school, you will be able to plug it into digital whiteboards, for example, and use it like that. Now let's just have a quick look at the all-in-one that is in the background. So this is actually a, I would say, 24-inch, maybe a bit bigger, uh, all-in-one design from ECS, which is really just a prototype. Don't talk about how it looks or or what it does basically because this is just really a quick mock-up. You can see some speakers down here. There's a camera up there. It's a touch screen on here which doesn't really work well so until now because it's really just to demonstrate how this whole thing works. And if you look closely, let me just quickly zoom in for a second. And if you look closely, you'll see that this one is running a Core M37Y30. So this is actually the Core M version which will also be available as I said uh, a bit above 400 US dollars. That's what they're, what they're, where they will be starting. There should be a 7Y57 version too. Uh, that's a dual core SOC that's usually used in uh, passively cooled notebooks, for example. So it has a 7 watt TDP and uh, clocks from one gigahertz up to 2.6 gigahertz, as far as I know. There will be four gigabytes of flash uh, memory on here, plus a hop, uh, up to 128 gigabytes of SSD storage. 
So that should be a bit faster. It's basically the base configuration of the new Surface Pro. So for everyday work, office work, that should be totally enough. And what's interesting about this contraption that is the ECM, ECS all-in-one here at Computex is that it has this mechanism to not only shut down the compute part and to, be, to make it safely ejectable because you always want to save your, uh, save your data, you will also be able to just uh, rip them out of there basically on other models, but you always want to make sure that your data is stored right. Um, so what you do is basically it sits up here and there should be a touch button somewhere and then it starts shutting down by itself and now look what happens if you do it on this ECS version of a all-in-one that runs Windows 10 on a compute card. So as you can see this works pretty much like your toaster, it just makes it flip out, does a little jump right there and that is how ECS envisions for example the Intel Compute Card to be used in an all-in-one PC. So that's just been a very quick look at the Intel Compute Card concept that is now going full blast, available from August here at Computex 2017.